This is a story about two cops and Romeo and Juliet, but who really cares about them? Hi, I'm Andy Jackson of the Verona 8 News. Justin, we've had two homicides in the Verona area. They are supposedly supposed to be nephews of two very rich families. As you can see, the area has been locked down. But we have special access. You remember the deal? Uh, special access to the area, and here are the two dead bodies. Two very dead bodies. And now we go to our two cops. Awesome cop and not so awesome cop. Look, a butterfly. Dude, there's no butterfly. You must be smoking crap. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Good, so look, you have a new case. Homicide? No, I'm giving you the track in detail. Alright, what we got? A crappy sketch artist. Really? What else? Uh, double homicide, both from a rich family. They want to keep it on the down low, keep the media out. Hurts business. They have a witness. His name's Benvolio. He's a cousin to our prime suspect, Romeo. You guys think you can handle this? Yep. yep. But remember, tact and discretion. Alright, boys, let's get that on my saddle. Alright, so where's Benvolio? 128 St. Rose Avenue. Alright, let's go get him. One more thing. Checkmate. Sir, what are you drinking? Yo, yo, a little coke. Sir, put the drink on the ground. Get on your knees. Get up. Put your head behind my back. Put your head behind my back. All right. Go. We got a few questions for you. They decided to interrogate him so the hard way. I've been better. So where's your cousin Romeo? I don't know, I'm not his babysitter. Look, we can do this two ways. The easy way, or the hard way. I see how it's gonna be that guy. So I ready to talk? This is with that girl Juliet. We near Tibble when he died. That's all I know. Alright. <laughs> then the cops went to see their unlikely pretty maiden. I bet this girl's hot. Julia? Yes? Ugh! Dude, where are you going? Hi, doctor! Was it something I said? So, um, Juliet? Yes? Um,. What is your relation to Romeo? Oh, you know, we just happened to be married, like, four hours ago. <laughs> and where were you at the time of the murders? Oh, you know, I was sitting here, right here in my room, you know, just chilling. <laughs> you know, but Romeo was fleeing the scene of Tybalt's death. <laughs> Joking. You know that Tybalt is dead, right? Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> no, no, seriously, he's dead. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, are you serious? <laughs> Stuff happens! What? 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 <laughs> Baby. Baby, I Time to pick up Romeo. Cop style. So, this is Fire Lawrence's cell. We're here to get Romeo, our prime suspect. We're still hoping he's here. He may not be, but we know Fire Lawrence is here and we'll be able to question him if we can't get Romeo. This is cops. This is what we do. Stop. Hey, hey, get, get down. Get down. Put that blunt away. You fire lords? Yeah. Where's, Where's Romeo? Romeo? I don't know where Romeo is. Where is Romeo? There he is! Oh, crap! Get on the ground! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. 
Yeah, you alright? Ah. Alright, we missed him this time. But we'll get him. Prick's turn. Oh, I mean, Paris. Paris? Excuse me. It's the cop's turn to meet, but what's wrong with his eyes? Doctor says I'll be like this for two weeks. Over here. Um, waiter! Water, fresh ice, fresh ice, Oh, that was fast. Look, you brought your water back already. Here you go. Thanks, buddy. Funky water. Yeah, definitely water. You don't feel that? You know what? Just, just to... Give me this, give me this. Working on the case now. Okay. Alright. So, we've gone through all the. Dude, are you gonna bring a water? Or what? You just gonna sit there? Lazy? Aren't you? Yeah, you can say bye bye to your tip. Hey! Wrong one. This one, this one. Okay, look. We've gone through all our leads. It's either Paris or Romeo. Pretty sure it's Romeo, seeing as though he always runs from us. But, um, I don't know. I don't like Paris. I bet you it's Paris. How do you know he's a prick? You've never seen him. I heard his voice. <laughs> you heard his voice and you think he's a prick. See, when, you, when your vision goes out, your other senses get Anyways! So, okay, whatever. I watched their dog too much. Anyways, I still think it's Romeo, and we haven't talked to pretty much everybody about Tybalt's death. But there's one more person we can talk to, and that is Juliet's dad. Well, let's hope he's not as ugly as her, because I like the. Have my weeks, my eye, my eyes, you know, even these eyes mess me up now. I like that my eyes. Shut up and come on. Time to talk to Capulet, but why is he talking so fast? Capulet? Wait, what? Hey, we're here to ask you some questions. What about? About Juliet? What about her? Do you know she's getting married Thursday? Yeah, at Paris. And where were we at the time of Tybalt's murder? I was out of town for a conference. But love, we we don't know. Yeah, wait, no, no. <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing. He was nothing. Okay. Well, um, we that was really quick. What, um, we were just. I think that's all we have to ask you. It was really fast. Huh? Yeah, I know. So, um, later. Oh no, Julia is dead. What? It's time to meet Romeo and Juliet, oh but I think they have a dead I guess I problem. I to drink this poison that this guy gave me. I think it's poison. I'm gonna die. It's poison. Oh. They're in here, Romeo! Juliet! Oh, Juliet! Romeo, get on the ground! Oh, wow, you're really good at this! You even expected me coming! It's so, alright. Oh, snap. Hey, Romeo's dead! So, what so, should we do? Juliet's dead too! You just wanna leave and go get some coffee? And pie? Yeah, let's go! Awesome! Alright. I gotta crawl away, I can't look! And that's the end. With coffees! And pies! Radio killer, killer. Big Snoop Deal Dub.